Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your Austin Realtor, David Mercedes, coming to you from La Cima Master Plan Community here in beautiful San Marcos. And this is the 3118W by Perry Homes. It features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, over 3,100 square feet of interior space a three-car garage, an extended cover patio, a phenomenal primary bathroom, a media room, and so, so much more. This is my favorite Perry home I've toured so far today. And look at it, it looks like a castle from outside. It is gorgeous. Three-car garage and a beautiful landscape. Now, this home was offered at 702 and they've dropped the price to 628. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about pricing later on in this video. Uh, a few things about the outside. You have brick siding and full gutters here at the front. Eight foot tall door plus the extra little window right above. Keypad access plus the ring camera right over there. There is also an outlet here at the front. Now, enter the home, we, into the home we go and just notice how wide this entryway is and leads you all the way down to the great room. Before we go down there though, check out your home office. It is large, 10 foot tall ceilings, two large windows, tile flooring, plenty of outlets. It is spacious, by far the largest home office I've seen on any Perry home. It is bright, it's nice. Two French doors with the glass insert. It is a stunning home. Uh, down this way, let's go down this way real quick. We have one of the secondary bedrooms. Let's call it the first one. Good sized bedroom. Tall ceilings, carpet flooring, single window, and a great size walk-in closet. We have four outlets total that I can see in here. Five, make it five. And it has a Jack and Jill bathroom. You will be okay to assume that this Jack and Jill bathroom will lead you into another bedroom, but it actually leads you to a hallway. So two vanities with on either side with the shower tub combo plus the toilet right in the middle and it's all well comp compartmentalized. Now, another secondary bedroom down this way. So the, uh, the second half of the Jack and Jill will double as the bathroom for this bedroom, as well as the bathroom for your guests. So that would be one of my two pet peeves with this home. It, one of the three pet peeves, peeves that I have with this home is that it could have used an extra half bathroom. Not the biggest fan of that Jack and Jill setup. Um, yeah you don't have to wait a little bit more to hear my other complaints with this home. Secondary bedroom, tall ceilings, carpet flooring, five outlets, good size walk-in closet. Now, right across from this bedroom, we find the guest suite. Similar size, tall ceilings, single window, carpet flooring, good size walk-in closet. And then on this side, you will find the full bathroom with tile flooring, similar finishes to what we saw in the Jack and Jill bathroom, the Pro Flow toilet, Delta faucet. And this one has a walk-in shower instead of the uh, shower tub combo. Now, anything else to see in here? There's a thermostat right in there. You have uh, the, gar the garage entrances over there, but we're gonna go there a little bit later in this tour. Now, media room. Right before you get to the great room, you will find the media room, movie room here 
in this home. It is large, two French doors, single light, overhead light right above, and I see five outlets total here in this bedroom. Big fan of having carpet flooring in the media rooms, mostly because it absorbs a lot of this sound. So your, the audio in there will be better. Now, let's go and take a look at this great room. Check this out. We have 12 foot tall ceilings here in the living room and 10 foot tall ceilings in the kitchen and breakfast area. We are gonna get started right here in the kitchen. We have this large island. You have plenty of room to sit four people in the built-in seating area. We have under, ca under cabinet storage right in here. And we have a massive kitchen island. Right above the kitchen island, we have this beautiful golden pendant lights. Lots of recess lights here right above the kitchen area. And being that it is a working island, you will also find the dishwasher, Delta gooseneck, under mounted st stainless steel sink, it is quite deep, storage, and also the pull out trash bin. Now on the, this side of the kitchen, you'll find space for the fridge, coffee making area, as well as cabinets surrounding the fridge. Down this way, we have the pantry. This is a good size pantry. We have tile flooring throughout the space. And on this side, we have plenty of cabinet space. Beautiful backsplash work. Love the pattern. Granite counters. Lots of room between the island and the counter space. Here's my second pet peeve with this home, which is they only added a four burner stovetop. They probably got a great deal on these stovetops because, God, I see them. Every single home has the same one. And I feel like having the five burner would be such a good upgrade. You have the hood right above it with lights. And on this side, you will find the microwave and the GE oven. Now, on this other side of the kitchen, we have the breakfast nook dining area. Total of six windows, 10 foot tall ceilings. It is quite bright and nice in here. Give you a quick 360. Before we go into the living room and just look at the size of this living room. Once again, 10 foot tall ceilings. You have that gas fireplace with the wooden mantle right above it. You have that beautiful, elegant ceiling fan right above it as well. And to add to the seven windows on that side, you also have eight windows here in the living room. Four larger ones and four on the smaller side. Now, if we go down this way, we have access to the covered patio. We have brick siding here at the back of the house. Pretty tall ceilings here in this covered patio. Single outlet. I do not see a gas line anywhere. Then let's head down here. We're gonna step on the gas, go a little bit faster. Show you the back of the house before we head back inside. So we have brick siding, no gutters on either side or the back of the house, but there are gutters at the front. Show you here the side of the home small tree right in there and let's run to the other side
You have two AC units right on this side, as you can see the brick siding there as well. Now, let's head back inside and we're gonna go straight into the primary bedroom. And it is in that room that we will, you, we will find my third pet peeve with this otherwise phenomenal Perry home. So, really enjoy doing this tour of this home. It is beautiful, it is large. It is a single story home, 60 foot lot. Now look at the size of this primary. It is large, tall, 12 foot tall ceilings here as well, carpet flooring and three large windows. Now, plenty of outlets. Just quickly, I see two, four, six, seven of them. There is a thermostat right here in this bedroom and check this out. Check out this primary bathroom. It is mega. We have dual vanities, makeup station. So beautiful vanity here on this side. Granite counters, delta faucets, and the mirror plus the light fixture right above it. Large privacy window right above this large royal garden top. Right across from this garden top, you will find this glass enclosed walk-in shower. Would have loved to see the overhead shower head, ceiling mounted shower head, but I'm a big fan of the tile work there in the shower. That's the door going into the shower. This is the other vanity with the makeup station. This vanity is, uh, is almost twice the size as the other one. And it comes, of course, with the vanity, uh, with the makeup station. Let me show you just how much storage there is down here. Are these soft closing? Are they? I'm not sure. It is soft closing enough to make me second guess myself though. Now, beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Nothing to say about that. But here we find my third and last pet peeve with this home. Toilet. But the entrance to the toilet is narrow. Like my shoulders barely fit. There's like a one inch of space to spare on either side if I'm perfectly square with the door, with that door. So it's a little bit tight, not the end of the world. I like to think I have broad shoulders, but still, I am not the biggest guy. So just keep that in mind. At least for me, that wouldn't be a deal breaker whatsoever. But I just want you to have all the information possible. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at the second closet. This is the larger one of the two, I believe. I think as, as far as volume goes, this one seems bigger to me than the other one. Carpet flooring here, tall ceilings once again, and then there's tile flooring in the primary bathroom. Now, let's head to the front. Uh, let's go see the laundry room and the three car garage. And let's talk about pricing once again. Very well priced if we go by, it, by what other single story homes have sold here in La Cima with the average price per square foot being at around 230. This home, it is priced at $200 per square foot. So if you are to buy this home, it'll be a good one, I believe. And yeah, great pricing, $200 per square foot. At 31.18, the square footage gives you the price of 624. So that's amazing. Now, mud room right in here, and access to the three-car garage, and this is going to be a tandem garage. So two bay, two single bays, 
and then a very spacious three car garage. And yeah, this brings us to the end of the tour. As always, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you're ready to get started with your home search, you know what to do. My information is in the description down below. Get in touch with me in whichever way is more convenient for you. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will catch you on the next video. Cheers.